Okay, um, this is kind of an interesting thing, uh, and this is kind of uh, targeted toward the, the fellow who says I'm a con artist. Not only did he post it once, but he posted it twice. Um, as you remember, the, the Starship coil uh, starts on its own, and it's very smooth, very linear. However, with the new Timing Exciter, uh, it's quite different. It still starts on its own, but it also makes music. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, you'll watch it and watch, the, uh, watch it hunt for the proper frequency. It's now starting to lock on. Very sophisticated circuitry. And that's how we get the multiple spikes. I'm going to start the oscilloscope here. And we'll just kind of pivot around to the oscilloscope. I got to get it all. So now I'm going to pan over to the oscilloscope, okay? And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to move my Hall Effect Pulse up and I gotta set the trigger so it triggers just on the right spot of that. There we go. It's a little bit too high, so they bring it down. It's supposed to track that. Sometimes it does, sometimes it does. Okay. And let's just bring up the back EMF. I might point out that the amplitude of the back back EMF pulse you're seeing. The probe is on a time tens. It's, okay, the the uh, it's one volt per division. Okay, it's a time tens and then it's a, then we're in a, a eight to one uh, voltage divider where it's sampled off. The maximum voltage that's safe for these scopes is 35 volts input. So you can really get some idea of how much back EMF is produced. And we're only seeing this off of one of the two drive windings on a super starship coil. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.